Welcome to another episode of Puzzles Brick by Brick. We today are in my messy, messy room. A room full of Legos. This way. Legos that way. And Legos in here. I have a Lego cup. So, every kid like me has a bin in their room full of Legos. A bin full of Legos and stuff. This Lego bin is full of is full of pieces from sets and pieces we collected from the Lego store. Starting this episode, we are building things out of the magical Lego bin. gonna make something similar to this. This these pencil holders are very common in our house. We have many more of them. Many more. Lego actually sells pencil holders just like this. This is their pencil plot. It, 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 if you can see it's a house there's a roof that you can remove and unremove and you can put pencils here. There's actually a new seri series of sets, Lego Dots. This actually released a few days ago, maybe? And it, it, it helps you make a pineapple pencil holder along with a paper clip holder. But instead, we are gonna recycle the Legos from our bin. we need in building pencil holder are plates. What is a plate? A plate a plate actually comes in many of Lego's builds. It's the base part it's the base part of something. Say you want to place this on something. If you want this to be sturdy you have to put it on the plate. See? It's not gonna move it that easily. one dollar in it's fake Lego. But if you want the real stuff, the real thing, 16 by 16, you go find it at the Lego store. Probably four dollars each. Let's take a closer look at these plates. This plate is a four by four plate. This is a four by six plate. This is a six by six plate, and so on. This is 16 by 16 too. The second part of our pencil holder will be bricks. Bricks. Bricks will be the wall on top of your base. The pencils will be on them. So come a little closer and we'll show you our bricks. There are two types of bricks. The thin ones and the thick ones. These are two by two bricks. These are two by four bricks. And we come to these. One by something bricks. So this is a one by two brick has two studs on it. This is a 1x3 brick. Three studs on it. This is a 1x4 brick. Four studs on it. And etc etc etc. Let's get building. For my sample today, I am using a 6x12 base plate. You can use any color, any design you want, but make it thin if you're using a small base plate. Let's get building. 
This is the final finished product. Now it's time for me to test it. It works. Now it's time for me to show you some other stuff we built. This is what my mother made. It's a rainbow colored awesome pencil holder. It's nice. We can put a lot of pencils in it. A lot, a lot, I mean a lot. This is something I made that you can put a few pencils in it, but it isn't that high. So there's a problem. There's another one I built just today. And these are mini stuff that can only fit three or two at a time. And it's really silly. And I want to combine them. As you can see, there's different designs on them. There's white, there's white and blue and white and red and a brick kind of thing. This last one is gigantic. My father built it in a quick time. This is the biggest one I've seen. You can fit so many into it. I can even fit some from here, everything here, and even everything here, I think. I think I'm just messy. It actually fits. What? Build a building.